Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of Gummin's World. So I've done a bit of video game collecting today and uh, I'll give you a quick look at what I got. Um, but a quick intro into what happened. This morning I was playing some uh, Final Fantasy 13 and my mate Despedza just flicked us a message said, Man, look what I got. I've just found a cool pawn store, pawn shop just around the corner from where I uh, live. And he's gone and got himself a couple of pairs, one games, a... What was it? A GameCube controller, and uh, uh, I think he got a GoPro too, as well, for like 200 bucks. So he was pretty wrapped with it, and I was just sitting down playing video games. I'm like, yeah, man, I've got to go out and do something too. I was like, not really doing anything, just sort of bored sitting there playing video games. And um, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go down and check out Cash Converters, which is our local pawn store, pawn shop around here. And I got each one of these games here for like two dollars <laughs> like that's cheap as v rally that's a good one to have in the collection why not i mean i don't know if i'll ever play too much of it but it was a decent game back in the day um formula one again two dollars how could you pass that up what a bit of a classic that one nhl face off yeah probably crap um desert storm was awesome that was really fucking cool game back in the day i used to play that um two player and you'd um Really, really good game for its day. And it is act this is actually from one of my subs. So one of my viewers uh, on one of my previous games said, man, you got to check out Sega GT 2012. Um, so I managed to find it. I think this was like um, $8 or something like that. But all up, I got all of these for $44. So reasonable. Um, International Superstar Soccer for the 64. That was a bit of a fave of mine. I was taking a bit of a gamble on this. I do remember seeing it around, but I don't actually remember playing it. But next up, I'm going to go, and I've seen a gum tree listing, which is probably about 20 minutes north of the river. So I'm going to jump in my little Corolla and go for a spin and take you guys along. Um, there's some pretty decent games in this guy's collection, and he's looking at selling a lot. I'm going to go down and get some cash out first. I'm thinking I'm going to limit myself to $200. Um, I could easily buy everything he's got by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, let's go. Jump in the roller. As you can see, it's a nice Perth day out here today. Sun shining, only a couple of clouds in the sky. A little bit of a nice breeze here to keep it not too hot. And about to jump in my beautiful looking Corolla. I gave this a cut and polish last weekend. Love this car. Might say it's a bit of a girl's car or whatever, but man, it's just such an awesome car just for a daily driver. Let's go. So I've managed to negotiate a pretty good deal at this guy's house. I've got all of these. We'll go through them when I get home. Um, yeah, he's got quite a few other games and even a SNES there, which I kind of wouldn't mind because mine's not really in that good nick. He's got some decent, you know, that's really good quality boxed version of Urban Strike. A few Mega Drive games. Um, I've already sort of gone right up to my limit and above by $50, even just on that. So that's 250 bucks worth of stuff. He's got some GameCube, um, yeah, all these consoles here. Um, he's unfortunately already sold this one. But um, yeah, no, I've done quite well out of it. So we'll take it home and have a bit more of a look at it. <laughs> Okay, so I made it back home. I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a look what I ended up scoring. So I got seven Super Nintendo games. I got three PlayStation 1 games. I got Sonic Heroes for the GameCube. And I got four boxed NES games. So $250. Originally, I sat them aside. So I sat, sat down there for maybe 10 minutes, put them all aside and said, okay, this is what I'm interested in. Um, how much would we be looking at for them? He said, well, I want... 40 for that, 30, 30, 30, um, and he said, just there, you're about 130, and he said, all up, man, he's like, man, you've, you've sort of picked all the good titles here, um, so he said $300, and I said, man, how's 250 sound for the lot, and he said, uh, all right, hurry up and get out of here before I change my mind, um, it was actually pretty cool, like the guy, uh, he was wearing a black Batman shirt too, so I'm like, hey, fucking, it's, uh, Batman day today, so, 
we got similar interests, obviously, uh, wearing the same shirt and similar interests in games. Um, so his story, like I just said, oh, so like, why are you selling, you know, you, did you grow up or like, why, why are you selling this stuff? And he's just like, man, he like, he's got two kids and the missus has basically pushed you, well, you saw the room before, he's just basically like pushed all his stuff into that uh, spare room and he said, don't really play it as much anymore, you know, busy with the kids and work and all that stuff. And he's just like, man, I've... I've collected most of these games, so it, a lot, like most of them, weren't actually original from um, when he was a kid. So he's actually gone and spent quite a lot of money on these. He said I bought a lot of it through eBay, and um, yeah. So Super Mario Three in the box—that's um pretty awesome to have. Like you won't get a well, you won't get a really good condition um, Super Mario Three in the box for forty dollars. You know that's that was really pretty good price you know obviously it's not perfect but considering the age of it that's um that's pretty good um this is quite a collectible one too which better condition as far as the box goes um you can see it was 80 dollars when it was brand new um i wouldn't be surprised if i could sell that tomorrow on ebay for around the same price 80 dollars in that condition um just an rpg game mainly bought that one just simply for the collecting uh collector's side of things i don't know if i will play it but i can i've got my uh nintendo up there so dr mario that was a classic game for me and my brothers when i was a kid um yeah that was always good fun it's basically just like a different version of tetris really marble madness i used to have a bit of fun with that wow that graphics on that looks so much worse than what i remember just blocks so again just another cool one to add to the collection um, Air Borders 64. I'm really racking my brain. Like, I'm sure I'll whack it in. I'll be like, ah, now I remember. But I do definitely remember the title. Can't actually remember the gameplay of that one. Sonic Heroes. Never played it. He said it was pretty good. So I thought, well, he basically threw it in for 10 bucks or something. Typhoon. I remember the game, but I don't. Well, I, rem I remember the, the title, but I don't remember actually playing it. Um, Colin McRae Rally. That's like the original PS1, so obviously it's going to be a bit dated, but it could still be fun. Abe's Odyssey Oddworld, so there was two of these. Um, I didn't play them too much, but I did play them a couple of times, and from memory they were a bit of fun. Killer Instinct for the SNES, uh, Street Fighter 2, classic, hard to go by. Stunt Race FX, that was awesome. Like I used to love that game. We used to just hire games like this out back in the day. You just go down to your video store and just hire the games out. Um, I don't think I've actually owned that. Mortal Kombat, Donkey Kong Country, the original one. Classic. Super R-Type. And Yoshi's Island um, to add to my collection. Did I have that already? I can't remember. No, I didn't. So, yeah, a few good little additions to the... Um, and, yeah, so this is the other ones I've got from this morning. So all in all, I spent 45, so around $300 and got myself quite a few games. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And um, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my mate Dispenza from Dispenza Gaming. He started collecting himself and he's actually probably at this point in time um, doing a bit of a video on his games and consoles. So go check him out. And also a bit of inspiration for me has been Metal Jesus Rocks. He's got a <laughs> big YouTube channel. He doesn't need a shout out by a guy my size, but I just want to show my appreciation to the content that he makes. Um, he's a big game collector. Um, and if you are interested in retro video games, go and check out Metal Jesus Rocks. I put my mate Dispenser onto him and he reckons he's watched just about every single video. Absolutely loves it. So until the next one, Gunners, coming out. Oh yeah, and one other purchase I made, this was uh, last week during the week. Um, it was the original Final Fantasy. Most of you guys probably know by now that I'm a bit of a Final Fantasy fan. So the original Final Fantasy on the NES, I bought that for $150 in the box with the instruction manual and everything. I couldn't help myself. I probably paid a little bit too much, but it is highly collectible. They're not making any more, and they haven't for a long time. I think it was 1986 or 89 that game came out. So... I actually haven't even played it before, but yeah, I'm glad I got that one.